Praise the Lord. Welcome everyone to another episode of the Journey Through Apostolic Successions. In John chapter 8 verses 28, it says, So Jesus said, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will realize that I am He, and that I do nothing on my own, but I speak these things as the Father instructed me. Jesus says He does nothing on His own authority. Similarly, the apostles will do nothing on their own authority. Their authority comes from God. So today we're going to talk about the 67th Pope in Apostolic Successions. That's Pope St. Boniface IV. Pope St. Boniface IV served as the head of the Western Church and Bishop of Rome from the year 608 AD until he died in 615 AD. Some of the interesting facts about Pope Boniface IV is that his papacy began on September 25th, 608 AD, and his papacy ended on May 8th, 615 AD. During the papacy of Pope Gregory the Great, Boniface received appointment to be a deacon in the Roman Church. In this role, he was also the dispensator who administered the patrimonies, which revenues and lands connected with the Holy See. Some of the contributions of Pope Boniface IV is that having served as deacon during the reign of Pope Gregory I, Boniface took inspiration from his mentor and ran the Lateran Palace like it was a monastery. Boniface IV carried out a few important acts while serving as the pontiff. He appealed to the Eastern Roman Emperor, Pocus, for permission to transform the pagan Roman Pantheon Temple into a church called Santa Maria Rotunda. Emperor Pocus granted the imperial consent, and the Pantheon became the first converted pagan temple to a Christian facility on May 13, 609 AD. Boniface displayed great interest in the English Church, and Boniface's pontificate was plagued politically and ecclesiastically. He had to deal with Monophysitus and Nestorianism. Death and Feast Day Boniface looked at monastic life as the discipline which helped him. He converted his home into a monastery and divided his time between the monk's life and the papal life. Until he died on May 8th. He was buried at the new St. Peter's Basilica in the early 1600s. The Catholic Church made him a saint with the feast date that is celebrated on May 8th. So that's all for today. Thank you for listening. And please stay tuned for our next episode. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and spread the word to many around you. For Christ and for the church. Amen.